Sports, and we've got a rematch of last year's wild card round in the NFC playoffs. It's the Eagles and the Bucks, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. This is a city that's hosted more Super Bowls than almost anybody else. And, uh, oh yeah, Brock, they've won a couple of their own along the way, too. We're in the home of the Buccaneers, Tampa, Florida, and Raymond James Stadium. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they've definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over, have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. And the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Mm, after that return, he's looking pretty banged up out there. We're going to have a stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Now we'll take a moment to check out his numbers on the ground from a week ago. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Hurts looking to throw. He's got Smith. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. You know, as any quarterback is going to tell you, that's one of the most difficult things to do. No one you're going to get blasted. That defender's coming right at you, but you've got to throw an after ball. It does two things. Number one, it strikes fear in the defense. And number two, you gain respect for your teammates. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Straight ahead, here's Barkley. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he's brought down after a short game. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you can take a lick at any time. From the gun on third down. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. On first down, they'll run. Push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Pretty obvious this defense. Man, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Working inside the red zone. This throw is caught. And he'll get this inside the ten to the nine. That's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. The give here on second. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. Chance to the chains here on third and four. Hurts is heading up to throw. And it's caught. And he scores. It's a fill Touchdown! The Eagles finish up an excellent opening series. Dallas Goddard the touchdown. 
Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. Last week, Kate, you won't call his effort wasted, never. But you wish a game like that would have come in a win instead of showing up in a contest they ended up dropping. Two touchdowns, no picks. That's the type of game that wins are typically built off of. They'll run here on first down. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Official signaling for a timeout. It's taken by the offense. They'll run now on second down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. Now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Throwing on third and long. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. It's into the hands of Wright. And he'll get it up to the 44. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Now here's Mayfield. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators, when you get a nice run, right, you gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't. They call the pass, and the defense reacts, and reacts well with a sack. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Out of the gun, White. And he gets this one to the 49 on a solid pickup. Even after a solid six yards on that play, still a long ways to go here on third down. Throwing, Baker. He's got it, room to run. And he's short of the first after a mild game. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Where I sit and judge defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. And that one comes down at the two before bouncing into the end zone for a touchback. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Option give here. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. And motion Brown right. Hand off on second and short. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. You know, 
Not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Pretty easy to see here. He just simply takes off before he gets full possession, and that is a drop. It's kind of like when a receiver gets a handoff. you got to secure the ball first before you can make anything else happen. And the QB keeps it on the sneak. And he's swallowed up by one of the big guys up front right at the line. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on downs. I think we are so preconditioned. When a QB sneak is called, we think it's going to be a first down, right? I think they expected him to get it too. But now they got to adjust in a hurry and get their defense out there to make a stand of their own. From the gun, a run for White. Oh, he gets clobbered behind the line. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. On target to Godwin. And he winds up out of bounds, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So before they can set up for another play, we've hit the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. More from Raymond James Stadium coming up after the break. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Buccaneers football as we begin. They'll have it third and three. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked off Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles will take over as he records his first interception of our season. He was trying to fit it into a window in the zone coverage, but by the time he let it go, boy, Brock, that lane had closed and someone was there to make a play on now, it. Now, what you're trying to do in zone coverage defensively is make that quarterback see a window that isn't actually there. And as soon as he takes the bait and sends it over the middle, well, you got one, two, three defenders all there in range to go pick it off. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. And he crosses midfield before going out. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Todd Bowles did not like what he saw, and he's thrown the challenge flag. The previous play is under review. We're all watching that sideline here, seeing where those feet came down. And no matter what they rule here, Kate, that was an outstanding effort just to make the catch. Yeah. Now we got to look and see, did he get both feet in with possession? After review of the play. All right, so that challenge is unsuccessful, but still a chance to earn a third one if their next challenge leads to an overturn call. Hurts to throw. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. That one came with a higher degree of difficulty. He had the balance focusing on the catch while staying in balance. Buckley trying this up the gut. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. Here's another carry for Barkley. And he works this to the 38 before going down. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Play action on first down. Tight end has it across the middle. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Holding offense. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. That's got to come back. Running it after the penalty. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. 
It's a pickup of two, and they'll need a lot more than that on second and 18. give the receiver enough real estate to establish possession and the defense understanding how to use the boundary. Going deep for the end zone. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. They were throwing for it there and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play. And they so we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to see if this was indeed review. a touchdown. Well, he sure made his best effort, but did he manage to keep this one from hitting the ground? And this is one of the most challenging calls for the replay booth. A number of years ago, Kate, it was fun. I got to go sit at the replay convention. Mm. Honest to God, they have them. They have officials conventions, replay conventions, and these complete incompletes can be some of the most difficult to judge. Those points safe on the scoreboard. The touchdown upheld upon review. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you, that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry. We did not give you any chance. Again, this is White. And that is a big hit right after that catch. So the play limited to maybe just a couple yards. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Motion in the tight end now. To the air, third and long. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. Impressive play, but they are well shy of the first down. The Buccaneers out and into punt formation. Back deep for the Eagles is Isaiah Rogers. His first effort went 47 yards. Brock looks to have a little more into this one. He's got it at the 17. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Running right, it's Barkley. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run. And that sets up second and two. Connection on the slant. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. He gets six on that play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Back to throw. Hurts. Taken in by Smith. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. He's fine, Smith. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Here's Hurts. Into the hands of Campbell. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. Offense set for a first and ten. Throw 
Throwing here hurts. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. There's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. We're at the two-minute warning now from Raymond James. The Eagles are on the move here. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Hurts looking to throw. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles boat racing them to the halftime locker room. Dallas Goddard the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, mm -hmm. the position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Tampa Bay are ready to head out to the field. And things are really getting away from him. So an important moment here to try and get a sustained possession going. Now Mayfield. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Mayfield will look to throw. And he finds the seam down the middle. Complete. Offense up to the line fast. Here's Baker to throw. That's going to be caught by Evans. He'll go out of bounds close to that 35-yard line. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. First down, ball at the 36. They'll throw it again. Called in by Godwin. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That's a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. And now it's second down. Here's Baker. Quick hitter complete. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. All plays on the table here for third and three. Motioning the tight end left. Third down from the gun. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And that brings up fourth and short. Chase McLaughlin on for the field goal. 
a 34-yard attempt. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it gets a fraction closer as the lead's down to 18. That's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team is out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Kickoff taken at the three. Returns looking good so far. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And last drive, he reached one of those numbers that everyone looks at as a benchmark after the season ends, Brock. Quite the year that he's put together finding the end zone. Just over 30 seconds left in the half as they come to the line. Hurts setting up to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Well, he sure has come out throwing a good ball today, and the passing game has really been clicking early on thanks to his efforts. Yeah, his play's really elevated the start his pass catchers have been able to have as a result. And you know what they're all thinking right now? This could be a game where we all get to put up some serious numbers, especially if he keeps throwing it like this. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the Personal field. Foul. Roughing the passer, defense. Not sure which end of the play is going to infuriate them more. Automatic giving up the down. huge completion or roughing the passer, which moves it even further forward. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that stretches the lead to 21. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hold, and he puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. So as we reach halftime, we see the visiting Eagles taking a lead into the break. Now we'll keep it in the state, but send you a couple hours away to our buddy in Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey, where you see the final score there. Dak Prescott, excellent in the victory as his guys move to 3-1 after four games. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting New Orleans Saints. Rondale Moore, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Kyron Williams with a touchdown run. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Hewitt. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Elliot all set for the kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Mm, after that return, he's looking pretty banged up out there. We're going to have a stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him. To throw is Mayfield. This finds Evans, complete. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Following that completion, a member of the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Toss now to the short side. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. We take a break from his regularly scheduled programming of pass coverage duties to see him adding a little contribution in the run support. And his teammates, you can just see the body language. A little nod, a little grin. They'll welcome the reinforcements every time. 
Second and 13. Buys time, rolling right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. That right there is one of the biggest differences between the NFL and college game. Heck, the high school and Pop Warner game. Because when you break away from a sack at those lower levels, big things happen. But at this level, this big boy league, just because you get out of one guy's arms doesn't mean you're safe anytime soon. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? Well, it shows the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Eagles and quarterback Jalen Hurts ready to go once more on offense. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. Couldn't connect with Dallas Goddard. So it's second down coming up. Option design here. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the women. You're fighting the good fight. You even rip through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. Rolling left, buying some time. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. You know, that's a really good play. I know it doesn't get the first down, doesn't keep him on the field, but what it does it keeps that defense honest. And I promise you, the next time in that situation, they'll have that run in the back of their minds. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Only one yard, but when all you need is an inch or two, Brock, that'll still move the chains. One thing you cannot say, Kate, about this offense is they're not bold. That was a bold decision. One, they trusted the big guys up front, and they moved the sticks. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. This time it's a passing play. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they face second down. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted. Even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Hurts the throw. Barkley's got it. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. This is the type of performance a former quarterback, just like yourself, Brock, can marvel at. He's carried a great performance through much of this game. Even as the defense adjusted, tried to slow him down, none of it mattered. I like the way you say that right there, Kate, because these moments, the game does slow down. It is so fast on the field for the normal person, but when a QB's in a rhythm like this, the game is slow, and he is dicing them. Now a pause to attend to an injured player, and this is a worrying sight. It is Saquon Barkley who was hurt on the play. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Throwing from the gun here. The Buccaneers get there and bring him down. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Wow, it has been such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more? Or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? Trying again, following the sack. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. I wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. 
His shot downfield will wind up incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now they're sharing it fourth and long. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. Now the Buccaneers set to take the field. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Here's White again. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the run. That sets up an easily attainable third and one. They give it to him again. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Win the early battle. Give a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Changing things up. They're going to throw now. Trying for Evans, but it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And it's a pick six as he runs it in for the touchdown. Well, you know this firsthand, partner. You get hit making a throw, you know this is a possibility. And that crowd cheer then confirmed it for him as he got off the ground, picked off, and in this case, taken back for six as well. <laughs> yeah, I hated, I hated that sound. <laughs> I know, I Not know. only of the pads crunching me, but that crowd telling you it is going the other way. That's what you got to do to these quarterbacks in this league. You got to hit them, you got to harass them, and mistakes will follow. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Here come the Bucks on offense now. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Back to the air following the pick six. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. Baker now. On target to Godwin. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. Mayfield set to pass. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of 22. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. White trying this straight ahead. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Second down now, seven to go. They're going play action. And down he goes, the Eagles got him! And that pushes him back, third down coming up. Kate, speaking from experience here, what happens now with the third sack allowed, especially on an early down like that, is that head coach and coordinator are going to have a conversation. Okay, we got to fix this. Do we slide? Do we chip? Do we keep more people in? Because the one thing you can't do is keep getting your quarterback hit. Just got it away before the hit, but it doesn't matter. It's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Chase McLaughlin now to try the Buccaneers field goal. He was good on his first kick. Going to need to hit this one well to go two for two. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that lowers the gap to 25 points. A lot of the
them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Return coming from the six. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. They're out and set, first and 10. Here's a give inside to Gainwell. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. They just get the playoff. And the catch is made. Oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, they're saying he was out of bounds. Didn't get both feet in. Incomplete pass. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Eagles ball, and this one looks like it may already be out of reach. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's brought down at the line. No gain on that play, and now they're looking at fourth and ten. Don't laugh at me, Kate. <laughs> I almost wish there was an actual white flag on either sideline we could see waving in this spot, because that was an easy mop-up for the defense to force fourth and long. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. No return on that punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Throwing Baker. Got a man open. Complete. And they bring him down around the 34. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Now Mayfield. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Real, real, real. From the red zone now. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. It's second and goal. They bring a tight end in motion right. They'll try and punch it in. And he's tackled for no gain. Stopped for no gain and leaves them six yards out on third and goal. Here's Baker to throw. And they will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers take a small chunk off that lead. Mike Evans with the touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and con. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return starts at the nine. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm -hmm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And he drives this forward until they bring him down at the 38-yard line. Give him 
four that time, so six to go on second down. Again, this is Gainwell. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run, but he said, uh oh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and ten. They stick with Gainwell. And this one doesn't go far. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Back to back carries here. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Here's Hurts. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. That was the biggest three-yard gain you're going to see because instead of a turnover on downs, Brock, it gets them a first. Now he'll throw off the play fake. The Buccaneers get there and bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Another try following the sack. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end. Because that's their burning butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Give him 13 on that play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Staying between the tackles with Gainwell. And he's brought down for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. And they'll stop him after a short pickup to the 24. They'll get that yard back, but no more. It's third and 10. And they're going to bring him down just as we've come up to the two-minute warning. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he falls through the defense for a touchdown. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. This offense ready to get going again now. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score. Here's Baker. This one's taken in by Otten. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into the coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. 
And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. They'll come up first and 10. To throw is Mayfield. Complete out to the right side. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Looking for Chris Godwin that time. And things look tougher now with third and long. Throwing now from the gun. Trying to push it deep downfield. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Mayfield to throw. And they won't do it. So that falls incomplete on fourth down. Who we'll set it down for him at the 38. They'll run here on first down. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Back to the well again. And this one does not go far. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. carry for it. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Calling one yard on the run. That's going to set up fourth and seven. A big kick is no good. It's well to the left there. And looking at the scoreboard, Brock, I think they can weather the miss there. So the Eagles will fly out of here with a road win. And this is exactly how they wanted to go into that bye week, partner, with a victory and some positives to build on in that nice extra time off. So for Brock Eward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.